In this video, we're going to be taking a look at installing Grafna on a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Now, if you aren't familiar with Grafna, it's an open source visualization and analytics software that lets you create beautiful graphs and visualizations off of your data. Most of the time, this data comes from your home network devices and servers. Think things like Plex, a NAS, and other IoT devices. We're going to be following the Grafna Labs Raspberry Pi installation process, so feel free to follow along in the link below. Like we said in the introduction, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, but these instructions do also work for other models of the Raspberry Pi. In order to get started, we're going to need some basic prerequisites, including the Raspberry Pi, an SD card, and a couple of peripherals like uh, network connection, power supply, and keyboard. In order to get started, we need to download a couple of tools. First is going to be Raspbian Lite, which is an operating system for the Raspberry Pi. And since we're going to run this without a monitor or anything, we don't need the desktop dependencies of the other versions. We're also going to need Belena Etcher, which is used to flash the operating system onto our SD card. Both of these are available in links below. Once we have these tools downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and install Belena Etcher, and then we're gonna fire it up and follow the instructions to flash Raspbian Lite onto the SD card. Once that's done, we're going to take the SD card out of our computer and insert it again. Once we have that disk back in our computer, we're going to create an empty file called SSH in the boot directory. This enables you to turn on SSH, which will allow us to connect remotely. Since we're going to be using a wired network connection, we're going to skip step two here as it is optional. Next up, we're going to remove the SD card from our computer and insert it into the SD card slot on the Raspberry Pi. Then we're going to connect our power cable and make sure that the LED lights turn on. We've also connected a monitor to the HDMI port as well just to record this video. Once the Pi is fully booted up, we'll see that there's an IP address listed in the terminal text. We're going to use this IP address, so make note of it. In order to connect remotely via SSH to the Raspberry Pi, we're going to be using Windows Command Prompt. However, you can use other terminal applications such as PuTTY. With the Command Prompt open, we're going to type SSH space PI at and then the IP address that the Raspberry Pi currently has. We'll get a little warning saying that the authenticity of the host can't be established and we're just going to go ahead and type yes to continue connecting. Next we'll be asked for a password and we're going to enter the default password which is Raspberry. Once we're logged in we're going to change the default password using the PASSWD command. First, we're going to add the apt key used to authenticate packages via the command below. Next, we're going to add the Grafna apt repository via the command below. And finally, we're going to install Grafna using the following commands. Grafna is now installed, but we don't have the service running quite yet. We're going to turn it into a server so that it runs every time the Pi is restarted, and then we're going to start the Grafna server via the following commands. Now Grafna is running on the Pi and is accessible from any device on our network. We're going to go back to our web browser and go to the IP address of the system at port 3000. With Grafna loaded, we're going to log in with the default username of admin and the default password of admin. Next, we'll be prompted to set and verify a new password. Now that we're logged in, you're ready to get started with Grafna. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. 
Also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thanks for watching.